welcome back to Readeroo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read Forever Friends Club. Let's find out about how all these animals become friends. Forever Friends Club by Gaurav Bhandar. Once a little bunny sat in the dentist's chair. He said, my tooth is wiggly, does it need repair? No, said the dentist, baby teeth fall out. A new tooth has started growing, surely without a doubt. This news upset the little bunny. He was proud of his front teeth. He asked, can they be saved? I don't want more underneath. The mother's words were helpful, simple yet quite wise. Your grown-up teeth are stronger and they're of a different size. One day, he moved his tongue to give his tooth a jiggle. But looking in the mirror just made him smile and giggle. Mommy, he yelled, my tooth is gone and I am very glad. But Bunny's brother laughed at him and he felt really sad. The mother said, why are you sad if someone laughs at you? Find your happy thoughts inside, not outside of you. It happens to me and everyone. Go out and have some fun. Let's throw a ball or eat some grass and hop and skip and run. Without his tooth, he was so scared that folks would look and see. Glum, he sighed and hung his head as he sat beneath a tree. A fallen mango hit his crown as he wondered what to do when once again a mango fell and that one bonked him too. Who is it? yelled the bunny. He looked up in the tree. Who's up there dancing in the leaves, throwing mangoes down on me? A naughty little monkey sat laughing in the leaves. Is it still you, the cheeky monkey who wants to pester me? Instead of getting angry, the bunny hatched a plan. I won't get mad, I won't be sad. I'll make friends if I can. Please, he said politely, come down and talk with me. It's difficult to make new friends if you hide in a tree. The cheeky monkey grabbed some leaves from three limbs beneath. The bunny was amazed to see he too had missing teeth. No longer did he feel alone. His friend was toothless, but still cheery. Perhaps they too could start a club to make the days less dreary. The bunny and the monkey put posters on some trees. If you have lost a baby tooth, then come and join us, please. Spike the hedgehog saw the sign while digging in the shrub. My tooth is wiggly as can be. May I please join your club? This sign says, if you have lost a baby tooth, then come and join us, please. Next to join was Frisky Squirrel living in a tree. Right behind him, Funny Giraffe stretching his neck to see. They made a sign and raised it for their message to be seen. Way high atop a post in letters large and green. Forever Friends Club. Let's have some fun, said Funny Giraffe. Maybe picnic by the pool? I'll bring a camera, the bunny said. We'll swim to keep us cool. Some yummy food, said Cheeky Monkey. Mangoes from the tree. Um, let's eat worms, another said. Oh please, no worms for me. The newfound friends enjoyed themselves. They swam and danced and jumped till Hedgehog cried, oh my, it seems I've just been bumped. It was a baby elephant whose ears were huge and pink. He said, I've lost my tooth so I can only drink. The baby elephant was glad. He splashed and pranced around. He jumped and played with his new friends in the club that he had found. Drowsy sloth crawled slowly there. It took most of the day, but he was keen to join the fun to have some friends and play. 
They welcomed Sloth except the squirrel who was playing in the pool. All full of verve, he thought the sloth was very far from cool. But then he saw the sloth had skills. He was showing them kung fu. He'd been wrong to judge the sloth and cheered a loud yahoo. Taking turns and photos, say cheese, they yelled, and smile. The friends made funny faces and laughed for quite a while. To lose our baby teeth is fine. It happens, said the bunny. When your friends are different too, you don't feel sad or funny. The friends laughed hard and played in groups until the sky grew dark. They promised they would meet again the next day in the park. They left the sign high on the post for everyone to see because Friends Forever Club was the funnest place to be. I had so much fun reading with you today. If you'd like to read together again soon, click on the subscribe link below and be sure to give this video a like. If you'd like some activities to go along with these books, go to readaroukids.com or click on the link in the description. There we have games, puzzles, science experiments, and even some crafts. If you'd like to follow us on our social media, we give away free activities every month. I loved reading with you today and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readaroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.